don't take anything personally. The second agreement is don't take anything personally. Whatever happens around you, don't take it personally. Using an earlier example, if I see you on the street and I say, hey, you are so stupid, without knowing you, it's not about you, it's about me. If you take it personally, then perhaps you believe you're stupid. Maybe you think to yourself, how does he know? Is he clairvoyant? Or can everybody see how stupid I am? You take it personally because you agree with whatever was said. As soon as you agree, the poison goes through you and you are trapped in the dream of hell. What causes you to be trapped is what we call personal importance. Personal importance, or taking things personally, is the maximum expression of selfishness because we make the assumption that everything is about me. During the period of our education or our domestication, we learn to take everything personally. We think we are responsible for everything. Me, me, always me. Nothing other people do is because of you. It is because of themselves. All people live in their own dream, in their own mind. They are in a completely different world from the one we live in. When we take something personally, we make the assumption that they know what is in our world, and we try to impose our world on their world. Even when a situation seems so personal, even if others insult you directly, it has nothing to do with you. What they say, what they do, and the opinions they give are according to the agreements they have in their own minds. Their point of view comes from all the programming they received during domestication. If someone gives you an opinion and says, Hey, you look so fat. Don't take it personally. Because the truth is that this person is dealing with his or her own feelings, beliefs, and opinions. That person tried to send poison to you. And if you take it personally, then you take that poison and it becomes yours. Taking things personally makes you easy prey for these predators, the black magicians. They can hook you easily with one little opinion and feed you whatever poison they want and because you take it personally, you eat it up. You eat all their emotional garbage and now it becomes your garbage. But if you do not take things personally, you are immune in the middle of hell. Immunity to poison in the middle of hell is the gift of this agreement. When you take things personally, you feel offended, and your reaction is to defend your beliefs and create conflicts. You make something big out of something so little because you have the need to be right and make everybody else wrong. You also try hard to be right by giving them your own opinions. In the same way, whatever you feel and do is just a projection of your own personal dream, a reflection of your own agreements. What you say, what you do, what you think or feel, and the opinions you have are according to the agreements you have made. And these opinions have nothing to do with me. It is the way you see the world. It is nothing personal, because you are dealing with yourself, not with me. Others are going to have their own opinion according to their belief system. So nothing they think about me is really about me but it is about them. You may even tell me, hey, what you're saying is hurting me. But it is not what I am saying that is hurting you. It is that you have wounds that I touch by what I have said. You are hurting yourself. There is no way that I can take this personally. Not because I don't believe in you or don't trust you, but because I know that you see the world with different eyes, with your eyes. You create an entire picture or movie in your mind. And in that picture, you are the director. You are the producer. You are the main actor or actress. Everyone else is a secondary actor or actress. It is your movie. The way you see that movie is according to the agreements you have made with life. Your point of view is something personal to you. It is no one's truth but yours. Then, if you get mad at me, I know you are dealing with yourself. I am the excuse for you to get mad. 
and you get mad because you are afraid, because you are dealing with fear. If you're not afraid, there is no way you will get mad at me or hate me. If you're not afraid, there's no way you'll be jealous or sad. If you live without fear, if you love, there is no place for any of those emotions. If you don't feel any of those emotions, it is logical that you will feel good. When you feel good, everything around you is good. When everything around you is great, everything makes you happy. You're loving everything that's around you because you're loving yourself. You're happy with the movie that you're producing. Happy with your agreements with life. You're at peace, and you live in that state of bliss where everything is wonderful and everything is beautiful. In that state of bliss, you are making love all the time with everything that you perceive. Whatever people do, feel, think, or say, don't take it personally. If they tell you how wonderful you are, they're not saying that because of you. You know you're wonderful. It is not necessary to believe other people who tell you that you're wonderful. Don't take anything personally. Even if someone got a gun and shot you in the head, it was nothing personal. Even at that extreme, even the opinions you have about yourself are not necessarily true. Therefore, you don't need to take whatever you hear in your own mind personally. The mind has the ability to talk to itself. But it also has the ability to hear information that is available from other realms. Sometimes you hear a voice in your mind, and you may wonder where it came from. The mind lives in more than one dimension. There may be times when you have ideas that don't originate in your mind, but you're perceiving them with your mind. You have the right to believe or not believe these voices, and the right not to take what they say personally. You have a choice, just as you have a choice of what to believe and agree with in the dream of the planet. The mind can also talk and listen to itself. Part of the mind is speaking, and the other part is listening. It is a big problem when so many parts of your mind are all speaking at the same time. Each one has different thoughts and feelings. Each one has a different point of view. The programming in the mind. All of those agreements we have made are not necessarily compatible with each other. Every agreement is like a separate living being with its own personality. All these little living beings create inner conflict because they're alive and they each have a voice. There are conflicting agreements that go against other agreements, and on and on until it becomes a big war in the mind. The mitote is the reason humans hardly know what they want, how they want it. Or when they want it, they don't agree with themselves because there are parts of the mind that want one thing, and other parts that want exactly the opposite. Only by making an inventory of our agreements will we uncover all of the conflicts in the mind and eventually make order out of the chaos of the mitote. Don't take anything personally, because by taking things personally, you set yourself up to suffer for nothing. Humans are addicted to suffering at different levels and to different degrees, and we support each other in maintaining these addictions. Humans agree to help each other suffer. If you have the need to be abused, you'll find it easy to be abused by others. Likewise, if you're with people who need to suffer, something in you makes you abuse them. It is as if they have a note on their back that says, "Please kick me." They are asking for justification for their suffering. Their addiction to suffering is nothing but an agreement that is reinforced every day. Wherever you go, you will find people lying to you, and as your awareness grows, you will notice that you also lie to yourself. Do not expect people to tell you the truth, because they also lie to themselves. You have to trust yourself. And choose to believe or not to believe what someone says to you. When we really see other people as they are, without taking it personally, we can never be hurt by what they say or do. Even if others lie to you, it's okay. They're lying to you because they're afraid. They're afraid you will discover that they are not perfect. It is painful to take off that social mask. If others say one thing but do another. 
you're lying to yourself if you don't listen to their actions. But if you're truthful with yourself, you'll save yourself a lot of emotional pain. Telling yourself the truth about it may hurt, but you don't need to be attached to the pain. If someone is not treating you with love and respect, it is a gift if they walk away from you. If that person doesn't walk away, you will surely endure many years of suffering. Walking away may hurt for a while, but your heart will eventually heal. Then you can choose what you really want. You'll find that you don't need to trust others as much as you need to trust yourself to make the right choices. When you make it a strong habit not to take anything personally, you avoid many upsets in your life. Your anger, jealousy, and envy will disappear. And even your sadness will simply disappear if you don't take things personally. If you can make this second agreement a habit, you'll find that nothing can put you back into hell. There is a huge amount of freedom that comes to you when you take nothing personally. You become immune to black magicians, and no spell can affect you regardless of how strong it may be. The whole world can gossip about you, and if you don't take it personally, you are immune. Someone can intentionally send emotional poison, and if you don't take it personally, you will not eat it. When you don't take the emotional poison, it becomes even worse in the sender, but not in you. You can see how important this agreement is. Taking nothing personally helps you to break many habits and routines that trap you in the dream of hell and cause needless suffering. Just by practicing this second agreement, you begin to break dozens of teeny tiny agreements that cause you to suffer. And if you practice the first two agreements, you will break 75% of the teeny tiny agreements that keep you trapped in hell. Write this agreement on paper and put it on your refrigerator to remind you all the time. Don't take anything personally. As you make a habit of not taking anything personally, you won't need to place your trust in what others do or say. You will only need to trust yourself to make responsible choices. You are never responsible for the actions of others. You are only responsible for you. When you truly understand this and refuse to take things personally, you can hardly be hurt by the careless comments or actions of others. If you keep this agreement, you can travel around the world with your heart completely open and no one can hurt you. You can say, I love you, without fear of being ridiculed or rejected. You can ask for what you need. You can say yes or you can say no, whatever you choose, without guilt or self-judgment. You can choose to follow your heart always. Then you can be in the middle of hell and still experience inner peace and happiness. You can stay in your state of bliss, and hell will not affect you at all.